Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and sometimes we just want to make some quick little projects. Something that only will take a couple of minutes in the sewing room. Well, I have just the project. It's a strawberry little bag and they really only take minutes to make, especially if you start with pre-cuts. For this project, we need two five inch squares and I'm using the pre-cuts because they have that beautiful scalloped border on them. And I'm going to use that border to my advantage. We need to place wrong sides together and then stitch a quarter inch all the way around the outside, both good sides facing out. I've used white thread, but I would recommend using a matching thread so you don't notice the thread as much. From here, we need to fold whatever square size you're using into three. So I'll just take this fabric and fold it so it's into thirds. From here, we need to decide what fabric is going to be on the outside and what is going to be on the inside. I want the darker fabric on the outside, so I want the green on the inside. So I'm going to fold this corner back and just pin that one piece back and do the same for this side. So I have those little corners pinned back. Turn the piece over and fold the next side, but the next side needs to be folded inside. Just fold that back on itself. That fold is going to keep that triangle square inside. And pin. Do the same to the other side. Flip it back to make sure that those corners are nice and square. Now when we open it up, we have our four corners folded equally into the center. There will be a little drawstring cord that's going to go all the way around the outside. So we need to stitch, leaving enough space to put that cord through. I would recommend a minimum of a quarter inch. You can start to a back stitch stitch that quarter inch and do another back stitch and do that to all four corners. That's all the stitching we need to do. So we have four little areas we're going to be able to put in a piece of twine or ribbon. So you're going to see stitching all the way around the outside. This is going to be the inside. This is going to be the outside. This will be a very small casing and most tools are not going to fit in there. But a very big hand stitching needle will. So we're going to have to test that. If you don't have something small enough to go in, just make your seam allowance a little bit bigger and you'll have a bigger area to put something through. I'm going to use this thin little rope. And on the end, I'm just going to flatten those fibers and then push them through that needle head and just pull it in a little bit. We're going to be able to trim that off later. Now, most times we sew with the point, but in this case, we're going to use the flat end. The ribbon needs to go all the way around through each one of these openings. And we can just stick that right through. Do one side, continue that all the way around. So we've gone all the way around and we have both of our ends here. We need to put the string in a second time and we're going to be coming from the opposite side. We have two ends on one side and two ends on the other. And we can tie these two ends together, keeping as close as we can, still maintaining this fabric to be flat. I like to knot it by just having my two ends wrap around my finger and then those ends are going to go in my finger, coming out to my nail. Then you can pull that knot and put it where you want it to be. I'm going to fray the ends coming off of the knot, and I just can unravel that. Once those little ends are frayed, I can cut them so both of the frayed ends are the same size. We are now done. My darker is my outside, and this is going to be my inside. So I'm going to be able to take those two knots and just pull. That's going to make this tiny little strawberry bag. So sometimes this space points out. If you want it out, 
point them all out if you want them in. Just push them in as you're pulling that tight. And that's all there is to making these little bags. And the size ends up being just a little bit more than two inches. This little pouch can store little things in, like your thimble. It can even hold a little spool of thread. And if you leave a thread tail out, and just close the bag slightly so that the thread can move and you're able to take out as much thread as needed. When you're done for the day, you can clinch that tighter and it's going to stay tight inside. Now you won't have that spool of thread rolling all over the place. And when I'm done, I can keep everything together. These little strawberry bags are quick and easy to make, especially if we start with pre-cuts because the edges have been pinked for us, so we don't have to worry about the fabric fraying. And they can be made with any size square. We just need to fold those squares into three so we can get the measurement for those little points. Just think of all the fabric combinations these can be made in. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, Come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.